Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, explain data provider in TestNG using an example. Let me answer and practically demonstrate this for you in this session. Okay, first of all, what is data provider in TestNG? With the help of this data provider, Okay, it is an annotation, guys. Okay, data provider is nothing but an annotation at the rate data provider annotation. If you specify this annotation above any method, that method is supposed to supply the data to the test engine test methods. That's what is a data provider. But how to use a data provider in test engine with an example if I have to practically demonstrate for that? I'll switch to this Eclipse ID where we have the sample test engine project and we have this class. Inside this class, I'll create a Method, test method, some test method, sample, login test, or whatever it is. Okay. And here I'll say spring. Uh, otherwise, I'll say email, comma, or spring username. I'll say otherwise. Spring username, spring cat, uh, password. Okay. So this username, password are the parameters to which we need to pass the data, but not single data, multiple sets of data we need to pass. Okay. And I'll convert this uh, normal method into the test ng test method. Okay. At the rate test annotation, I'll write over the mouse on this. And uh, you will get uh, this uh, import statement import this test annotation from test ng. That's it. Now this method got converted into the test ng test method. Now in this method, I'll write a code. Okay. Instead of writing the real Selenium automation code, I'm writing some normal print statement. Yes. Okay. I don't want to waste the time. I'll simply say, logged in using assume that you have logged in okay so the assume that there is a selenium code for logging in okay using this username whatever the username here i plus this password whatever the password that is received to this method so this is a test ng test method to this method i would like to supply multiple sets of data for that we need to create the data provider public void supply data method just give any name whatever you feel okay just some name you give for this method and so convert this normal method into the data supplier or data provider method we have an annotation in test engine known as at the rate data provider annotation okay here the question explain data provider in test engine it's nothing but first of all it's an annotation test engine annotation over the mouse on this and import this data provider from test engine now this method has become a data supplier method because of this annotation. Now we can supply the test data to any of the test methods from this data provider method. Okay, this not only this test ng test method, any test ng test methods, you can supply the data from this method. Okay, now I want to supply the data. So I need to create the data, right? For that, I'll create a two-dimensional object array like this. I'll say data is equal to, I'll give a shortcut representation of the array inside this. I represent multiple sets of data. Let's say three sets of data are more than enough I feel. You can give even 10 sets of data if you want, okay? Then uh, for example, 10 sets means 10 curly braces you have to write inside, okay? Here I'll write, Arun, comma, okay? This is a username, this is a password. And here Varun, here I'll say 456. Here Tarun, comma, 789. Like this, I'll write. Okay. Now I'll simply say return data. And uh, this is a return type should be two-dimensional object array. Okay. Because we are returning the data which is of two-dimensional object array type. Now the method is ready and this method is going to supply the data, but to which which test method? I cannot say this test method because is there any connection between this test engine test method and this data provider? No. But how to make the connection? For that, I'll do one thing here. I'll just name this data provider. Okay, there is an attribute known as name attribute using which we can name the data provider. I'll just name this as a data supplier. That's it. Okay, that's it. Data supplier. Now, to connect this data provider to supply the data to this particular test engine test method, here after the iterate test annotation, there is an attribute known as data provider attribute. Data provider is equal to, I have to give the name of this 
data provider that is data supplier. That's it. Now the connection has been established between the data provider annotation and this test and test method. This method is going to supply three sets of data to this test and test method. And if you run this test, this test and test method is going to run three times. Every, you see, three sets of data are there means three times it's going to run. With the first set of data, it's going to run for the first time. Logged in using Arun 1, 2, 3 will be printed. Logged in using Varun 4, 5, 6 will be printed in the second run. And Tarun 7, 8, 9 logged in using will be printed for the third time. Let's run this test and see what will be the result. The same test will be run multiple times. And at the rate, data provider is nothing but an annotation. Okay, you see, pass it three times. You see the same test, sample login test got executed three times with three different sets of data. And you got the print statement printed like this, logged in using, logged in using, logged in using Tarun 78. So hope guys, you got the answer for this question that is explain data provider in TestNG with an example or using an example. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.